Every day, the boy would have his shirt taken off by others, then two circles were drawn on his body, he was used as a live human target, then several school bullies took turns to attack, although it was a toy bow and arrow, but it still hurt when it hit him. Finally, the boy could not bear the humiliation and ended his young life, but when a gangster boss tried to save him, the two of them accidentally exchanged souls. When Mike returned to school, he was actually the gangster boss Jack in his body, and the school bully did not know the seriousness of the matter, they still want to bully him like before. <laughs> Everyone was confused by this scene, is this still the same coward they bully every day? A fat man didn't believe it and rushed up immediately, but Jack fell to the ground due to lack of strength. It turns out that although the soul is a gangster boss, but the body is still that of a high school student, Jack was beaten up by the school bully again, but it doesn't matter, soon he will trample the school bully under his feet. He will also embrace the school beauty. The time came to the next day, the gangster officially started his campus life, but he looked at the colorful pens of his female classmates, and then looked at his own black pencils, so he suggested going to the stationery store with his female classmates. After school, the three female classmates were frozen like grandchildren. Just then, Jack came to help in time. He invited the three people into his Bentley. They never expected that the boy who was bullied every day was actually a rich kid. Then Jack took the three people to dinner. They also felt that he was a different person. He never wanted to socialize before. The next day he bought all kinds of pens. At the same time, he quickly got along with three female classmates with his humor. Jack enjoyed his current campus life because he used to live a life of fighting and killing. And when he was in physical education class, he also relied on his outstanding athletic talent to successfully jump over an obstacle dance that was nearly one meter high.